In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the domain name of your online store actually be a subdomain to another website or blog. This will be a quick one and you don't want to miss this. What's going on? This is Vic Oyedeji from the online starting block. I don't want to speak too long. I want to get straight to the point. So let's go. Let me show you how to do this. All right. So I have this online store, which is called Love's Cookbook. And right now it is lovescookbook.com. I created this in a video that shows you how to create an online store that sells digital products. That is in the description. I also have a blog that is called Diapers Diaper. That's one of the weirdest names I ever created. But this is a blog that I created in another video that's also in the description on how to start a blog. And so what I want to do is I want to be like Sarah Titus. So Sarah Titus is an example that I know. And so Sarah Titus has her site like that. So that is her blog. But if you go to her shop right here, it says shop.sarahtitus.com. Now this shop site is ran by Shopify. So Shopify is running this and her main store, sarahtitus.com is ran by WordPress. So it separates those two just in case one goes out, the other works. So how do you do that? How do you make her Shopify store have a subdomain like shop.serotitis.com. So what I want to do is I actually want to make this website be shop.diapersdiaper.com. So I want to make this shop.diapersdiaper.com for this example. How do I do that? First thing to do is to go to where this is hosted. So diapersdiaper.com is hosted using Bluehost. So I will go to Bluehost, but this will work with SiteGround, HostGator. No matter what hosting you use, we're going to access what's known as the DNS Zone Editor. I'm going to show you how to do it using Bluehost. To do that, I will go to Bluehost.com. And here, I'm going to log in. And let me log in into my Bluehost account. So I'm here. Let me go to my Shopify page. And let me log in into my account. I'm actually I'm already logged in. So let me go to my dashboard. And while in my dashboard, let me go to online store on the left side, click on that, and then go to domains. And while I'm there, I want to go to connect existing domain. Connect existing domain. So what do I want to call this? I want to call this shop.diapersdiaper.com. Now, obviously, this will be your own site, but the shop part, that's the subdomain. This part right here, the shop dot, that is the subdomain. So it can tell that it is connected using Bluehost. So to do this, it says view the instructions. And what I want to do is to connect a subdomain. So to do that, I'm going to go all the way down and it says connecting a subdomain to Shopify. That is instructions right there. So the reason why I'm pulling this up is because it's giving me certain, I need to see this part right here of the type and record type. And that is that. So go back to my Bluehost account, which is where my blog diapersdiaper.com is hosted. From here, I will go to domains. And you see subdomains right there, but that is not what I'm looking for. I'll actually have to click purchase domain at first. And then when that happens, a new option appears called zone editor. It appears out of thin air. I don't know why Bluehost does that, but that is how Bluehost rolls. So this is what I'm looking for. On HostGator, it has it. On SiteGround, it has it. And that is that. So from here, you want to make sure your domain is right. Go to your DNS record. So in this situation, the host record it's going to be shop. So that is that. If you want to make a store.yourblog.com, you write store here. In this situation, I'll put the word shop. The type is going to be C name. And then where it points to, that's where you go back to the instructions. And I want it to point to right here, shops.myshopify.com. This cannot be anything different. This has to be shops.myshopify.com. So go to points to, say paste, add record. And then once that is added, you want to make sure if you look under C name, 
If you see shop, go to shop.myshopify.com. That's exactly what you want to see. Then you go back to this area right here. The domain is shop.diapersdiaper.com and click on verify connection. And this should connect Bluehost with that. Right now it is saying it is empty. It may take a few minutes because, yeah, it may take a few minutes. It used to be quick, but it may take a few minutes. So I will come back when this works and then I will re-verify again, but this is good. All right, let's try this again. And it looks like we are good. All right, so this is my primary domain. And all I have to do now is click on change primary domain. And these are the third party domains. And you can see shops.diapersdiaper.com. Click on save. And that is going to be the domain of the store. Boom. So if I click on the I next to online store, the website is now called shops.diapersdiaper.com. And that is exactly what I want it to be. So now this store is now the subdomain for this. So all I have to do now is I can go in in the menu section, add a new menu item that is called shop. And then from there, it will go to, it will go to shops.diapersdiaper.com. And that is what it is. And I've changed the name and to change it back. All you gotta do is to go back to the store so in this situation, I will go to dash admin. Now I'm back. I will then go to online store, domains, and to switch it up, I can remove this domain or I can just change it back to what it was, which was lovescookbook.com. Go to save and it will go back to the old way. So I have just made my store the same name as my blog, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's it. So now you know how to turn your online store's domain name and make that a subdomain to another website. Really the only thing you have to know is you need to know the main website's hosting platform. If they're using Bluehost or SiteGround or HostGator or anyone else, you need to know what that is so you can access their DNS zone editor and then you can follow the steps that i just laid out and that is that hit the subscribe button subscribe hit the like uh hit the bell you know what to do leave a comment that you want and let me go to the side right here i got some more videos that you check out right here some check out some more videos 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 that we have here at the online starting block if anything don't forget to subscribe